Κύριε τα κλίμα ανοίξεις και το χρόνομα να εκδημεί την ενεσύ σου. Ο Λόρ, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. For you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. And there is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden. They are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery, and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desires before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, and my strength fails me. And the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw, draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil from me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a dead man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope, you will hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, Let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and they are become stronger than I, and those who hate me and unjust me are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for a good slander me, because I pursue righteousness, and they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not depart from me. Be he to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Mi engatalitis me kirie, O Theos, mi apostisa de mu, prosques istin boitiano, kirie ti sotiria de mu. O Lord, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my first flesh, flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands to your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on my day break, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul falls close behind you, and your right hand takes hold of me, but they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God, and all who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteousness is stopped. I meditate on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind me, and your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the days of me. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto each of the days. Amen. O Lord of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to knees. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead. Like slain men fall down and sleep in the grave, whom you remember no more, and they are removed from your hand. They lay me in the lowest pit in dark places in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, 
they meet me in abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weep in from poverty. O oh Lord, I cry to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in the land of oblivion? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your faith from me? I am poor and in trouble for my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed from me neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, that everything within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire for good things, and your youth is renewed like evils. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wrong. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east and from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. But the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the fields of the flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commands to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O oh, his angels, mighty and strength to do his word. So as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, to do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, Lord, hear my prayer, and give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me your righteousness, and do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, and he humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places, as one long dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you, and I walk this land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, for my spirit faints within me. Do not turn your face from me. Lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I have broken you. And make me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I plead for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your mercy's sake, O Lord, give me life, in your righteousness. You shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies, and you shall utterly destroy all the afflict my soul, for I am your servant. As to me, your righteousness, do not enter into judgment with your servant. He shall control me in the end of your siege, and he said, This is Christ and Hallelujah. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God.
On this day we also commemorate the holy martyrs Rusticos and Eleutherios. On this day we also commemorate the holy martyr Theotokistos. On this day we also commemorate the holy priest martyr Eunicius, Archbishop of Alexandria, and the eight martyrs with him. On this day we also commemorate the holy martyr Theaginos. And on this day we also commemorate the holy martyr Theotokos. On this day we also commemorate the holy martyr Abakos. And on this day we also commemorate our devout father, Saint John of Chozeba, Bishop of Caesarea. By the intercessions of your saints, O God of mercy on us, Amen. Thank you.
Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come and abide in us, bless us all stay, and save our souls for good. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come abide in us, cleanse the whole stain, and save our souls for good. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come abide in us, cleanse the whole stain, and save our souls for good. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to men enjoy his favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to men enjoy his favor. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out in your praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now Oh, 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good boys and girls go to heaven. Bad boys and girls go to heaven. This is what most of us have been taught from an early age about Christianity. And we came to believe that Christianity is a reward or punishment system according to what we do. If we behave in a good way, if we are good boys or girls, we go to heaven. If we behave in a bad way, if we are bad boys or girls, we go to heaven. We make Christianity into a behavioral punishment or reward system. But is this really what Christianity is about? About being moral? I have a question for you. I'm going to have quite a few questions for you today. It's going to be a question and answer kind of sermon. And I need your help. I need your involvement. My first question to you today is, were there morals in humanity before the coming of Christ? Yes. We had the Ten Commandments, which are a basic moral system. Almost any civilization had some kind of morals and 
I looked up the definition of moral. According to the dictionary, it means concerned with the principles of right and wrong behavior and the goodness or badness of human character, of human character, or holding or manifesting high principles for proper conduct. Obviously, as you answered, humanity had some morals before the coming of Christ. So then, why did Christ come to offer to humanity? If humanity already had some good moral principles. I firmly believe that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ offers a lot more than morals. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ reveals to us how we could become children of God. The sovereign word of God himself became human like us to reveal to us, to reveal to each and every one of us how we could become like him. The Son of God became human to reveal to the children of men how the children of men could become children of God. In the words of St. Athanasius the Great, and in the words of many holy fathers of the early church, God became human to make us divine. God did, did not become human to give us another set of morals. But about this, about how we could become ch children of God, we will talk more specifically next, next time. For today, I wanted to just to open up our eyes a little bit to the bigger reality of the gospel. And I chose for us a few verses from the Gospels and from the Bible. And I'm going to ask you, what is the first word that comes to mind when you are going to see and read these verses? Moral or beyond moral? So are you ready? But love your enemies. Of course, this is a verse from today's gospel. And this is what prompted me to speak about this today. Because obviously today's gospel is about this. Going beyond moral. I already gave you a hint for this one. So, but love your enemies. Do good and land, hoping for nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you'll be, the, you'll be sons of the Most High, for He is kind to the unthankful and evil. Moral or beyond moral? Beyond. It's moral to lend and to receive back. That's fair. Or if you lend, if you borrow from somebody else, to give back. To be honest. To be moral. The Lord is teaching us to be beyond more. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Moral or beyond more? Beyond again. Why? Because so many of the Jews were about fulfilling the law, doing the morals of the Old Testament. The Lord says, it's beyond that. It's beyond the letter of the law. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you'll by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Moral or beyond moral? Again, beyond.
you shall not murder. Moral or beyond? Moral or beyond? Moral. I would say that this is more on the moral side. It is a commandment. Don't do this. <laughs> this is more on the moral side. 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 You shall not murder. It is a command, a commandment that we are to follow. You have heard that it was said to you that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of judgment. But I say to you, that whoever is angry with his brother with a cause, without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. Moral or beyond moral? Beyond. Can you see how the Lord took one of the moral commandments of the Old Testament, and so, and he took it he took it beyond moral. It's not only about not killing. It's about not even being angry. Go beyond the morals. Go beyond the behavior. Really be, really become children of God. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. Moral or beyond moral? Again, moral. It, it's a law. It's a commandment. Work for six days and then rest on the seventh day. The Lord then answered him and said, Hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath lose, lose his ox or dump it from the stall and lead it away to water it? And another verse, and he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Moral or beyond moral? Again, the Lord is taking a commandment beyond Do not set your foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of the of evil doers. Moral or beyond? Moral. Stay away from that. <laughs> Be moral. Those who are well have no need of a physician, and those who are sick. Moral or beyond moral? Beyond. Beyond. The previous verse from the, from the book of Proverbs was telling people to stay away from those who are spiritually sick. And that is a wise advice. If we are not strong enough to deal with someone who is spiritually sick, it's better to stay away, to be moral. But the Lord says, you could do more. You could be so healthy so that your life, your health, would spill over the sick people and help the sick people get well. Again, he took something that was moral and beyond moral. And this is the spirit of the entire gospel. Our Lord Jesus Christ came to reveal to us that we are not called to be only moral people. Humanity already had lots of moral people. Our Lord Jesus Christ came to reveal to us that we are not called to be religious people, but that we are called to be nothing less than children of God. But about the meaning of being a child of God, we will talk. God will be next Sunday. Thank you very much. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Grant this 
que capezona en lección patros, que pali el homen de la doxis, crime son las que en cruz, unis vasilias, un es de teros, que isto pnezma to aigo, to quirio, to zootio, to ecu patros e coregomeno, to sin pati que yo, sin prosquiumeno, que sin doxasomeno, to la lisa diatom profitom, is mia aigia capodiki que apostoliki me insian, como lo go en bautisma, is apis in amartion, pro lo go anastas in etro, que join tu melo dos seos, amin. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us and the conscious Pilate and suffered and was buried and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, spoke to the prophets in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us then dwell, let us then be all, let us be attentive, that we may please the holy offering in Many of 
soaring with their wings, singing the victory, proclaiming, crying out, and saying.
God, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send out your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon this is your presenting, and make this bread a precious body of your Christ. Amen. And then in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and nothing judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit, be perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Peace be with you all. 
whom I am the first. I also believe that this is through your pure body and that this is through your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown. And make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of his saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing but easily, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not this holy gift be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life of the kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical Son. I will not give your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a Jesus in Judas, but as the faith I confess to you, Lord, remember me in the kingdom. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me.
Say 
They want to give special things today to Greg. Can you please stand up, Greg? Please stand up, Greg. <laughs> I'm asking you. It's okay, Greg, to stand up. I want to give special thanks to Greg, to Rick. Stand up, Rick. Stand up, Rick. You will be the best. <laughs> to Greg, to Rick, and to Eva for giving the responses when we're not allowed to have a choir, but by the grace of God, we can find it the entire church is becoming a choir. A choir of angels, a choir of saints worshiping God. We are working on this. As you know, we are working on, we've been working on organizing a retreat about church music with the goal of, improve, of improving the worshiping experience, the worship experience in our church. We experience any kind of obstacles of temptations. By the grace of God, and by working together, we are overcoming them. And by the grace of God, we are going to have this retreat at the end of October, at the end of this month. For the we will come from Portland, Oregon, to be with us for a weekend at the end of October. And the retreat on Saturday, said October 30th, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., is open to everyone. And everyone, I'm asking you to come. I'm asking for your help. On this day, when we also celebrate our third anniversary of meeting each other, I cannot do it alone. I do my best in the Holy Holocaust. I do my best to preach and to teach, but I cannot do it alone. And Greg, Rick, and Eva are not enough. Every single one of us is called to praise the Lord, to be transposed into heaven, and I want to give that experience to you. So please reserve that day, Saturday, September 30th, and come to church from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We are going to offer a free lunch to learn about the importance of church music and to learn how to sing in church even if you are not gifted with a great singing voice. What you need is going to teach you how to sing even if you are not gifted or you think you are not gifted with a great singing voice. How to praise the Lord with your abilities. Also, we are faithful. Philopotos is organizing a game this year, Operation Classroom, to help the children of uh, Bloomingdale Elementary School in our weekly bulletin. You see what the children need, and please uh, uh, get involved in this charitable project. Save the day. Friday, October 15th, Friday next week, God willing, we are going to have a drive to fish fry. On Sunday, October 24th, in the afternoon, Goya, the Goyas are inviting us for another church and the outing at Kunar Dairy Farm. So we know from the last couple of years how enjoyable these outings were. So they are inviting us again to go as a church family to have a good time together. November 14th, of course, God willing, we are going to have the 25th anniversary of the building of this church. On Saturday, November 20th, we are going to have the cookie walk. And then on Sunday, December 5th, we are going to have the full general assembly of our church. Also, during the beginning of the month, we have the new issue of the dog that was emailed to you, or you could pick up a printed copy from church today. On uh, Tuesday and Friday morning at 10 a.m., our senior men will get together for the men's club. And then uh, on Tuesday evening at 6 p.m., we'll have a vlog of general meeting. On Wednesday evening at 6 p.m., we'll get together to serve the activities in praise of God's creation, followed by our Bible study. We'll start, we'll go into the 15th, cha 15th chapter of the Gospel of John. On Thursday morning, our women will get together at the end for weekly sagami, 
and then on Friday evening at 7 p.m. that willing, we will serve another meal downtown. On Saturday at 6 p.m., we will have a first joy and hope meeting and get together here at the church. If you want more information about this, please see Angela Vizica. This is Goya for younger children, Goya for preteens, joy and hope. So if you have children uh, who are younger than 12, uh, please come together with them to the church on, uh, on Saturday evening at 6 p.m. to have a good and beautiful evening together. Next Sunday, God willing, we'll start the, the service of Matthews at 8.45 a.m. and then the Holy Liturgy at 10 a.m. followed by Sunday School and by the Agape offered by Team 10 next Sunday. This Sunday's Agape is offered by Team 8. Thank you very much. God bless you. But I'm holding these brochures in my hand today because I see some new faces in church that I don't know if you're a first time guest or not. So if you're a first time guest in our church today, please raise your hand. Nobody? No first time guests? Okay. Thank you very much. Christ is among us. Thank you very much. I'll keep coming after you. I'll keep pushing you into the kingdom because that's why I came here so that together, hand in hand, we'll go into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. God bless you. We'll have a very fruitful and peaceful week. Please come for the veneration of the cross and